Good morning, everybody. Jennifer here um, with you today from Expressive Arts. Uh, so as part of our web series on wellness, today we are going to um, talk about expression, um, the power of expression, specifically emotional expression. Um, emotions are something that we all experience. They can show up many different ways at many different times in our day. And if we feel like we're not able to address them and express them when they arise, then they can start to feel bottled up. When we have tools that we can use that help and get help to get our thoughts and our feelings out, um, we're often better able to move through difficulty rather than becoming stuck in a pattern of negative thoughts or feelings. So there are many different ways um, that we as humans express emotion, and one person's way might be completely different than another person's way, or you may have many ways that you express emotion. Um, we often express emotion verbally, physically, um, we can do it through music, dance, and art, um, even through written words, like when we write a letter, or um, even when we write down what we're grateful for, like we were talking about the other day. One of my personal favorite ways to express emotion is through songwriting. I have always loved writing and I've been singing for as long as I can remember, so it was just sort of a natural progression for me. Um, I will say, though, that um, I don't want you to feel nervous if you've never written a song before. That's totally fine. Probably most of us haven't. Um, but I think that just having um, kind of a framework to start with is um, an interesting and kind of unique way to get started to try something new. Don't worry as well about musical skill. Songwriting is for anyone of any age regardless. Um, my songwriting process may not be the same as someone else's and that's okay. We're all unique in the way that we see things and that we process things and that uniqueness is usually reflected in our writing. For some of you who have written before who are writers, sometimes they call it your voice and that just means that your personality and your voice show through in your writing. So I have two types of basic songwriting to share with you today. And I tried to pick ones that were kind of easy to access and were pretty um, general and I felt like could work for a lot of people. So one thing that I really love to do is to pick an empowering phrase that's sort of a repetitive theme that sort of winds through the song, um, such as, I am strong, or I will rise, or I am brave, something that's really powerful and that just makes you feel good. Um, Another thing it could be is, uh, is a wish for yourself, particularly during uncertain times. So I chose that one for today, and I think that the phrase that we're going to use for today is, May I be well. It's pretty simple, it's a lovely wish, and it's something that's woven throughout our song. Now I say song, but today I'm going to just do it as a, as a rhythm, as a sort of um, not chant, but something that is rhythmic. And you can add anything that you want in your own life for the beginning of the phrase. And really, you can pick any affirmation for the end of the phrase. I just really liked I will be well. So my, or may I be well is what I'll start with. So my, my very first one, and you can tap along with me and just sort of keep this beat and just listen to the words. I'm going to show you what I did for my songwriting and then I will leave you with a songwriting sheet so you can write your own. So mine is going to go like this. Throughout my day and through each hour, may I be well. Through caring for my family, may I be well. Through life's many ups and downs, may I be well. Through times of sorrow and of joy, may I be well. So it just sort of flows along. Now, if I want to say something that feels um, really affirmative and very helpful for me and something that's instead of a request, more of a statement, I might change it. Something like this. Though there may be struggle, I am well. Even when the going's tough, I'm grateful I am well. With all the ones who love me, I am well. I am safe. I am calm. I am well. And it's just a really lovely kind of expression out there. You can write anything you want. You can say, 
um, really anything that you feel is pertinent to your life. And you can add any phrase at the end. I've played around with different ones. Another one I mentioned in the beginning is, I am strong. So you could change any of the words that you'd like. Even though the going's tough, I am strong. So having something that just really boosts you in the times where you're kind of feeling a little blue. Uh, I will re I will um, include this, I should say, in the email as well. So you'll have a, a songwriting shell that you can use and you can put in your own thing. Even though I did that one with rhythm, if you feel so inclined to write a melody, you certainly can. I usually go and plunk something out on my piano and that just, or my keyboard that's behind me. Um, and that's what becomes my melody. So I like to do that, but you can do it however you choose. Um, another thing is that I know some people may not feel comfortable writing um, something that's so broad um, or that is uh, maybe something that is completely created on your own. So that one does have a lot of, you know, of creativity and, and the ability for you to put in your own thing. But also, sometimes it's nice to use something that we're really familiar with and change it or adapt it to kind of fit a little bit more what we need or make it so it's a little bit more pertinent to who we are and what we're going through. One, you can choose any type of music for this, but one song that I really love to use for this is George Gershwin's I Got Rhythm. So the first verse is pretty, I'll sing it as he wrote it and then I'll kind of change it around for me. So the beginning just goes, I've got rhythm, I've got music, I got my gal who could ask for anything more. And then maybe I want to add in my own thing. So I'll say, I've got sunshine, I've got family, I've got painting, who could ask for anything more? And I just name some of the things that I'm really grateful for. You could keep the last line or you can change it. This is your process. It's totally up to you. But I love to take something that I really know really well and rewrite it and make it in a way that is kind of positive and really a great experience for me. So you can do that, like I said, with any song. Some of the popular ones or if you know I've got rhythm you can use that another one is my favorite things um, Rogers and Hammerstein you could do that one as well um, and just put in what your favorite things are from the sound of music and then you could also do let's see oh what a wonderful world Louis Armstrong that's another great one and he talks about all the beautiful things that he sees in the world and you can make that your own and talk about the things that are really important to you so that was just a brief overview of songwriting. Um, just anything that speaks to you, then use that. Whether it is rhythm, whether it's music, whether it's writing your own lyrics or using someone else's and just changing a couple things here and there, or whether it's not songwriting at all and it's just getting your thoughts down on a piece of paper in your journal or however you decide to do it. It's, the process is totally up to you. Thank you for coming today and for seeing our songwriting demonstration, and I will see you on Friday. Be well, everyone.